fight Big John Fury. I want to shut his blabber mouth. We can do a, uh, a four-round exhibition. So anybody see John Fury, tell him I want to fight him. My asking price is not that high. I'm just tired of his mouth. Like, I will do influencer boxing. Think I won't get that money. Make a whole scene. Make a whole scene. Don't be surprised if I get frustrated and bite somebody. I got become a cannibal. And I can't stand cannibals. <laughs> uh, let's see what's going on now. What else were we talking about? Oh, Tiafimo Lopez. Let's talk about Tiafimo Lopez. All right, Tiafimo. All right, I got a slaughtering. Well, you know what? I'm much more generous than I used to be. I'm a much more kind uh, uh, boxing, uh, whatever you want to call me, vlogger. So I'm going to try not to be too hard on Tifa because sometimes I'll get up here and start cussing. You want to go down memory lane? Let me show you something. I was pissed at Tia Fimo. Uh, I was pissed. Let's go back down memory lane. So I'm much more calmer now. Let's see here. I was like, don't you ever say Loma Chico's name out your mouth again. You know, I think I was on the sauce that night, too. Let's see where we at. Oh, look. Look at my title. Look. Keep Loma name out your mouth. Well, I put your. You are. T. Fima Lopez Nakatani. Exposed or not that good. And that's similar to the title I had last night. Look, this is the one from last night. T. Fima Spo exposed yet again. Jermaine Ortiz one question mark. Ah, Crawford fight next. They've been talking about that. Lopez just not that good. Damn, I didn't even look at the title before. Damn, I guess I'm a T. Fima Lopez hater. Let's go back four years ago to see what I was thinking about. Let's go back to four years ago. See what was I talking about. the distance. Lopez and a very game capable and determined Nakatani go the distance. A lot of respect being shown for Masayoshi Nakatani. There is Tiafimo's wife, Cynthia. Married this spring. Talked about maturing, evolving as a fighter. Fight's been a back and forth affair. Nakatani came out early with the jab. Teofimo stayed under his feet. This was the game plan from the beginning was to catch and shoot for Teofimo Lopez with the right hand. And here we see the left hook. But Nakatani took the punch as well. Nakatani kept stocking in the back end. How many of you feel that Teofimo Lopez was lackluster tonight? Let's talk about it. I am T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. In a way, I gotta be honest with you. I was supposed to be at this car tonight down there in um, Maryland, about 21 minutes or so from the White House, 21 minutes or so from Union Station, Washington, D.C. I would have had to drive three and a half hours to get there in about, no, three and a half hours to get there in about two and a half hours, three hours or so to get back. I'm glad I didn't go. Not in, in a disrespectful manner. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not it. It's just that Tiafimo Lopez better not ever bring up Lomachenko's name ever again. He's likely going to fight Richard Comey later on this year. And Richard Comey, IBF, 135-pound champion, will likely wash him. In my opinion, as you can see, it's near 1 a.m. Tifimo Lopez should get a unanimous decision victory over Nanataki. No, Masayoshi Nanataki in an IBF eliminator. I think I have fell asleep. I think that's what it was. Um, if it's one, look, I said that shit was one twenty-eight in the morning. What were they doing? What were they doing? So, but no, it gets worse. I'm not going to play the whole video, but it gets worse. I start laying into him. So what happened was, turns out, uh, Tia Fimo Sr. sold a video and called himself trying to intimidate me. 
You know, I wasn't having it. But we'll leave that alone. But yeah, listen. If you notice with Tia Female's resume, oh, it gets worse. I start letting him have it. No, I wasn't drinking. Uh, likely wasn't. I'm thinking I was tired because it's 1.28 in the morning. I believe I had my daughter that weekend. I don't remember. I probably was falling asleep. Yo, it happens a lot. I'll be sitting here and I'm watching and I'll just start like dozing off. Like just dozing off. And then I'll get up like, oh shit. And then like do my video. Hold on. Let me pull up this guy's resume here. But yeah, you'll notice a pattern with Tia Febo. Not only with the southpaws that he has issues with, but look, he's hot and cold. He's hot and cold. You know, he struggled with Masayoshi Nakatani. Then beat up Richard Comey and then started flipping around. He beat Lomachenko, okay, but it was a close fight. A lot of people thought Lomachenko won. Then he lost to George Cambosos of all people. Beats up Pedro Campa, then struggles against Sandor Martin. Looks phenomenal against Josh Taylor. Some say Josh Taylor washed up. And then struggles against Jermaine Ortiz. If that ain't hot and cold, that ain't hot and cold. No, them, let me tell you something. Those, uh, yeah, I was slurring, but I can't think. I don't think I was drinking. I wouldn't be drinking. Like, I rarely, like, drink on, like, a fight night. Like, that, like that's rare. But anyway, um... You will notice, like, if that's not hot and cold, it's every other fight. It's every other fight, it seems, that he just struggles. I mean, yeah, he was going through some shit. But still, you know, the numbers are the numbers. You just can't, I just can't rely on him. That's going to catch up to him. It already got him with a... Uh, with, uh, uh, Cambosos, but I can't rely on him. I would pick Devin Haney to beat him. I would pick Terrence Crawford to probably stop him. And according to uh, uh, Top Rank, uh, that they're in talks about that fight because the Spence fight for Crawford seems to be dead. Spence, I think he gonna fucking retire. You know, like that's that's he beat the shit out of him. Yeah, but how long are we going to keep doing the mental stuff, the mental health stuff, you know? I try to give fighters a pass, but, you know, and I, and listen, I'm not no, uh, I, everyone struggles with mental health, but I'm not going to say like, you know, I mean, I, I'm just, I'm just getting sick and tired of it. I mean, yeah, he was going through some things at the time. Okay. Okay. All right. And then when you're going through things with your uh, uh, a child, and I know more than anybody, you know, it will fuck with you. It will mess with you. But I personally think that he's got to get from under his father, you know, maybe a new fresh voice, you know, like in the corner, because it's just, you know, it's one day it's going to catch up to him. And especially since they keep trying to make him a star, they want him to be a star. Let's go listen to his post fight interview. He was on some uh, other shit then, too. Let me go listen to his post fight interview. Let's see if we can find it on YouTube. So I don't have to open up ESPN Plus. They still haven't fixed the ESPN Plus online desktop interface. Like, it's still stupid. Let's see if Top Rank put it on their YouTube page. Yeah, every time somebody has some issues in the ring, oh, I'm struggling with mental health. The way Keyshawn Davis was talking about weed, you was thinking he was doing fentanyl. He was, you know, like, y'all didn't peep that? Like, he was, okay, he quit weed. Quit smoking weed. But the way he was talking it was like he was on some hardcore ass drug. It's like, bro, what was you smoking? All right, here's Tia Female's interview. It gets a little bizarre. He is a little bit of a head case, you know. But well, who isn't? T Street is too. So you know, I can't go around judging. Let's go listen to it. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. I'm T Street Controversy with Five Foot Three Sixty. Let's go listen to this. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds here inside the Michelob Ultra Arena, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Steve Weisfeld scores the bout 117-111. Tim Cheatham and David Sutherland both have it 115-113 for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBO Ring Magazine Junior Welterweight Champion of the World, the takeover, Tiavimo Lopez. 
People was also getting on him too, because it's like, why are you crying, bro? The you know you lost? Of TFT, my What's he crying for? What's he crying for? And Tiafimo Senior, if you're watching this, ain't nobody scared of you. We'll drink your vodka. Night was the circus ring entrance and coming away with that decision win. Everything in between did not advance the brands at all. But he keeps his title. Paco. Both men landed 15 punches in the 12th and final rounds. 80 to 78 was the final advantage in total punches for Ortiz. But there was not a lot to separate here. 80 punches landed by Jermaine Ortiz. It didn't look like it, though, because the last few rounds, he was on. Listen, that was a nice bike he had. I don't like to say fighters are running, but I, I like if you if you look through all of my videos, you will never see me put a title or never see nowhere ever that I said a fighter ran. But if it was one time I was getting close because he had he was dodging all that shit T Freeman was, was was throwing, but he would not throw a punch. So I'm looking, I'm like, and I'm getting frustrated too. I'm like, like I'm sitting here and I'm stewing. I'm like, man. It's 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 1230 almost at night. It's a Thursday night, a week night, by the way. I gotta be up at 5 a.m. You see what I'm saying? You know when you running around, I I'm gonna say running, you dancing the night away. Just da just straight Tia dancing. Tia Fimo wins by unanimous decision. We'll have the state of boxing on the app for all the post fight coverage here at Sports Center right now. Oh, they're cutting to the post-fight interview. Wait, let me see here. Here it is. Yeah, he starts getting real, uh, uh, I don't know if it's adrenaline pumping or whatever, but he just starts talking about just other, you know, just other shit. Pyramids and... Emotional reaction from you after this decision. Oh, my ring, my ring. What is that, that was all? a nice-ass bike he had. Nice-ass bike Tio had. All about your emotional reaction. Hold up, man. Hey, hey, people, people. I mean, Ortiz. Humans, humans, listen up, man. Listen up. Oh, I wonder if they're going to blur it out when he told the crowd to suck his dick and he said no homo. Yeah, we heard you, T.O. That was messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all could boo all you want. Suck a dick, no homo. No, no, no. Oh. I know. Relax, relax. Let me let me let me go back on this, okay? We cannot for one second. Yeah, people that that loose ball. Let me speak. We cannot for one second claim these people, these fighters that don't want to come and fight. You go to blood, sweat, and tears, the three code of conduct, Sugar Ray Robinson Award. If you ain't ready for this life, get the out of my sport. I am a champion. I bleed for this. I sweat for this. And I cry for this every time. Jesus is real. And, and all I can say, may God giveth, God taketh. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Tail, this is not the first time that you're faced against a guy who doesn't want to engage. The same thing happened with Sandro Martin. How, how is it that you weren't able to cut off the ring? What could you have done better tonight to, to get him to engage? <laughs> I had to get two guys so they could, they could jump him. Because <laughs> honestly, I got to fly to get these guys. That's crazy, man. Hey, listen, I tried my best to do what I can for the people. I even tried to box going backwards, and they did not want to commit to show you people. Listen to me. I only believe in one race, the human race. The human race. From Rosa Park, she says it best. The only race I believe in is the human race. And that's what everything matters today. I don't believe in all religion. I believe in God, the one and almighty. Please let us come together as a unit. In 2600 BC, when they made the right, pyramids, right. when they made the pyramids, they said it, united we stand, divided we fall. All right, this was. That sounded like one of the old Ultimate Warrior promos. We'd be like, ah, you load the spaceship with the rocket fuel. Takes it as far as it wants to go. He knows not how the bones have shed. A race like what are you talking about bro he was running a race and you were oh you people listen to me 
I only believe in one race, the human race. The human race. From Rosa Parks, she says it best. The only race I believe in is the human race. And that's what everything matters today. I don't believe in all religion. I believe in God, the one and almighty. Please let us come together as a unit. In 2600 BC, when they made the well, pyramids, well, when they made the pyramids, they said it, united we stand, divided we fall. All right, this was a race, but he was running a race and you were chasing he after him. Throwing. You only had, you only threw 12 jabs yourself, Teo. Could that have helped? What could you have done differently, man? It's like, it's a repeat. It's not a repeat because I still got it. I know you do. Okay, so it's not a repeat. Don't tell me this is a Santa Martin part two. Yo, you're telling me, let's work, coach. Listen to me. I do this. Anybody want to step in the ring? Let's get it on. I am champion. I am king. And the king stays king. I'm in it for everybody and anybody. Go ahead. You can run. The people can boo. You know why? Because Satan lost tonight. Nobody now, booed. when Nobody. you when you talk about what happened tonight and the future, you came in here thinking about Bud, and you also saw Keyshawn hey. Davis coming after you. So what's next for you? <laughs> you know what's next for me? Glory. Glory. That's what's next for me. None of these guys want to fight me. I fight Crawford out of catch weight. What's up then? I'm here. I'm ready. Always been ready. I'm hungry. I'm younger. I'm prettier. And... Shoot, two-time, first male, undisputed world champion at 25. Now, Keyshawn has no problem going up to fight you, just like you'd have oh, no, no problem going up. Oh. Is that a possible fight? Come on, we're talking about a lightweight. We're talking about a lightweight over here. He hasn't done anything, just like Vasily Lomachenko told me. If you want to fight me, you got to get a title. Get a world title. If you want to fight the king, go ahead, get the world title. I'm not going to give it to you guys for what? You guys want it easy. Everybody want it easy. I'm not giving him no shit for not, you know, fighting Keyshawn because at the end of the day, Keyshawn ain't do nothing. Uh, and I'm not impressed with Keyshawn Davis right now. I still got to see something. Beating up on gatekeeper uh, Jose Pedraza at this time in his career, I just can't. I mean, yeah, it's still Jose Pedraza. It's like a good gatekeeper. It's just that I don't really know how I feel about that. And he is only the second person to stop uh, uh, Pedraza. But it's not the same Pedraza that Tank Davis fought. I don't know. I'm just I'm just not sold. But I don't want to see no uh uh Keyshawn. I'm not gonna be like, oh shit, motherfucking Team Female Keyshawn fighting. Oh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna be like, alright, all right, whatever. You know, but it's not a fight, you know, that I'm like really interested in. And as far as him telling Terrence Crawford to come to a catch weight, it's like, whoa, bro. Whoa, whoa, what does that even mean? Like, go up to 147 or not. Catch weight. Like, what does it mean? You know? But yeah, I'm, I'm, I just lost my confidence in Tiafimo. It's just not there anymore. I used to really be like, yo, the guy's kind of got something. But now, you know, uh, it's only a matter of time. You know, I would pick Devin Haney to beat him. Let me see who I would pick to beat him. Let's see. Let's go look. Let's go look. Let's not be too critical. You know, I'm much more kinder, much more softer, much more understanding these days as a boxing vlogger, journalist, whatever you want to call me. I would pick Roly to beat T.O. I'll pick Ryan Garcia to beat T.O. I'll pick O'Hara Davis. No, I'm just bullshitting. Uh, I would pick Devin to beat him. I don't know, man. Roly. See, Roly's at a special place in my heart like Adrian Broner and Chavez Jr. You know, so I fuck around and say Roly to beat anybody. But I'm just going to leave that alone. We're going to leave Roly out of this. He's got a fight coming up. Uh, Sabril so Matias is fighting uh, uh, Liam Paro. Uh, me and Big J did a video. We think that Liam Paro is up Shit's Creek and fighting him in Puerto Rico too. Liam Paro got a skill set, but I haven't seen nothing from Liam Paro to say that he's going to bring Sabril Matias 20 and 1 with 20 KOs. Owner Barboza, I, listen, his management. Him and Jose Ramirez management, I'm not a fan of that guy. Both of these fighters, by the way, are now Golden Boy fighters. Jose Ramirez and Arnold Barboza. Richardson Hitchens, I haven't seen nothing yet. Would I pick Jose Ramirez to beat Tiafimo or Barboza? I would probably give Barboza a better chance than uh, Jose Ramirez because of styles. 
I don't know. Maybe I'm sounding like, I don't know. Catterall, maybe. See, here's the thing. You know, listen, right now, maybe I'm just still on a high from last night and I'm not thinking clearly. But I've just lost some faith in Tia Fimo, man. It's, it's every other fight. He hard or cold. And Southpaws clearly are giving him issues. Every Southpaw has given him some issues. Every Southpaw. Let me see if they have his amateur record on here. Jermaine Ortiz beat him in the amateurs. Didn't Ryan Garcia beat him too in the amateurs? Somebody let me know. It's not on box rec. I think Ryan Garcia and uh, Devin Haney either that are split in the amateurs or I forgot how their amateur record go, but they're familiar with each other. 